I'm letting you in on my dirty little secret. Actually, it's two dirty little secrets and they're on the top shelf in my shop. Shh, don't tell anyone. Here they are, my dirty little secrets. Tanks that need to be cleaned after I've harvested. That's the dirty little secret that no one talks about. And it's one of my least favorite parts of hydroponics, but it needs to be done. In this video, I'm going to share the steps for cleaning your hydroponic system so you don't have any dirty little secrets of your own. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing to my channel as we make hydroponics simple and fun. You may be asking, why do you need to clean your hydroponic system? Can't you just add more nutrient and new seedlings? Hmm, that would be like adding new food to a dirty plate. That's not really appetizing. The same thing is true for your new plants. They need a clean system to optimize their growth. I'm going to take you step by step through this cleaning process, but if you miss a step or want more information, you'll find the links in the video description. Step one, move any plants that might still be growing away from any tanks or, or the area that you'll be cleaning. I simply put mine into a different tank that's not being cleaned at the same time. Step two, gather up all the cleaning supplies you need. I use mild dish soap, vinegar, a spray bottle, a couple of natural loofah sponges, a nylon bristle scrub brush, a bottle brush, some disposable gloves, a couple of buckets, and a few old towels. Step three, prep a couple of gallons of cleaning solution. One gallon will be for soaking the smaller parts of your system and the other gallon will be used for cleaning the larger parts. By far, the safest and still really effective cleaning solution I've used is made with white vinegar and water. The formula for this simple and effective cleaning solution is three teaspoons of white vinegar for every gallon of water. Step four, turn off any electrical power to components such as lights and aerator pumps. Now that you've turned off the electricity, unplug all the parts of the hydroponic system that you'll be cleaning. Detach the tubing and the air stones. Place the air stones and tubing in the soaking bucket. Step five, remove all organic material from the tank, the lid, and the net cups. I had dedicated one of my hydroponic tanks to propagating tomato plants, and it has a lot of plant debris that I'll be able to add to my compost. Only a few of the tomato cuttings survived because the temperature in our shop escalated to over 95 degrees during this heat wave. And that's a good reason to have an indoor hydroponic shelf system. I keep my office at 78 degrees and that will be cool enough to keep these tomato cuttings alive and ready to grow tomatoes in outdoor crack key tubs in just another month or so. Dispose of the seeding media that is not biodegradable and compost the plant debris such as leaves, stems, and roots. Put those net cups in to soak with the tubing and the air stone. Step six, <laughs> drain the remaining nutrient from that tank. I'm going to give you a word of caution here. Before you try moving the old nutrient in that 10 gallon tank like this one, Transfer some of the old nutrient from the larger tank to an extra bucket until there's just a small amount of nutrient on the bottom of the tank. This will eliminate the need for lots more towels <laughs> to mop up all of the nutrient that's spilled when the tank tips too far to one side. And yes, <laughs> you're right, this advice comes after multiple tank tippings and floor cleanings. The old nutrient won't go to waste. You can repurpose it to your outside plants, your container gardens, or even your outside trees. Step seven, spray all the sides of the lid and tank with water and lightly scrub with a sponge that has a squirt or two of mild dish soap. Let that soak for approximately five to 10 minutes. 
use scrubber brushes to remove any hardened materials. If you have really stubborn algae or sediment in your tank, baking soda and a toothbrush are all natural and work perfectly. When all surfaces are clean, rinse well. Step eight is a second stage of cleaning to make sure that you've removed any germs or algae that might affect your next growth cycle. Spray your vinegar water mix on all surfaces and let sit for another five to 10 minutes. Again, rinse well and then set aside. Step nine, use the bottle brush or other scrubbers, you can use a toothbrush, as you clean the smaller pieces of your hydroponic system that have been soaking. Flush the tubing and rinse all those smaller items with water. Step 10, dry off your system with clean towels, then put your system back together and get ready to go from seed to salad all over again. Shh, don't tell anyone about my dirty little secret. Just tell them about my cleaning secrets. Thanks for watching. Happy Hydroponics!